the statewide Hispanic Chamber of Commerce of New Jersey, a nonprofit organization that promotes the growth and development of Hispanic owned businesses, has been fostering mentorship programs, creating access to networks in the public and private sector. For over businesses for success. Join me in welcoming the Vice Chair of the Statewide Hispanic Chamber of Commerce of New Jersey and Dominicana, Claribel Cortez. Claribel, thank you so much for joining us today, Claribel. Thank you for having me. <laughs> this is amazing. Now, the Statewide Hispanic Chamber of Commerce of New Jersey is the biggest, correct? Yes, yes it's the largest chamber in the state of New Jersey. Oh my God. Yeah, we are the voice of 120,000 businesses and we contribute over $20 billion into the economy for New Jersey. That is incredible. Now, you are also a certified minority owned business owner. I am. Correct. Yes. Congratulations thank you, thank you. to you. I know that, that you have an extensive background also in yes. the media and entertainment industry. How did you land, land to be vice chair, Latina and vice chair, first of all? Well, it's, it's an interesting story. When I left the corporate world, I needed some guidance, and that's when the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce was there for me. I became a member, and then slowly but surely became a, a board member, and then became vice chair. That is incredible. Yes. Um, and I know that the statewide Hispanic Chamber of Commerce is known as a big familia. It is. Because you know that Latinos. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Latinos are like a big family, and we like to hug and kiss and all that stuff. But talk to us about the programs. So we have various programs. To the next level. And how, how do you guys do that? Uh, we have a grant um, from Wells Fargo, and that's how we were able to launch the program and inspire multi-generational uh, multi change. Now, how many Latinas do you guys have in your program? Right now, 35 in the Let's program, which is launching in April. But I will say the HETP program has 50 entrepreneurs, and I do have to say that the largest uh, entrepreneur body right now are Dominicans. No way. Yes. Well, you know, Dominicanos. We're entrepreneurs we at heart. <laughs> we yes. are entrepreneurs yes. at heart, correct. Now tell us how, how, how many events does it that you guys have throughout the year? I would say right now, um, flagship events, we have 12 um, events. Right now we're gonna have one in March, which is also Latina based, which is uh, the, the Modern Latina program. So we're gonna do that one. Then we also have some health events. We also have uh, restaurant events. We have our uh, hospitality events. So everything that you want to learn, we have it under our, under our belt. Now, what are the benefits that, let's say, a minority owned business that doesn't know about your services or other programs, how can, what is the process for them to be able to, to sign up and engage and be part of the familia? So the first thing I would say is attend one of our events. Uh, see if it's the right fit. I, I definitely say that it will be the right fit because we are a familia and we're focused on results. So once you see what we're about, we will be able to connect you and it's about building relationships. Mm -hmm. You go ahead, sign up with, our, with one of our members and you become part of the familia. Nice, nice. Now, for for your for for the services that you guys provide, I know that there's there's different ways that you could be able to finagle the system. For example, I wouldn't say finagle. That's not the correct it's word. Okay. I want to correct myself. It's okay. I know that you are able to uh, the connections. How do you create that connection from public and the private sector? With what businesses? With the businesses, correct. Uh, like so what is the process for that? Because I know that you have to first be a member, yes. right? And then what is the process? So once you become a member, you go into our membership directory and you'll be able to get all of our events. You'll be able to attend our events either at a reduced cost or for free. Mm -hmm. And 
you could have m many members basically at your fingertips. So I make phone calls sometimes on a Saturday, on a Sunday, it, depending what I need. Uh, you just basically become part of the familia. Now, for to become a certified with the state of New Jersey, what are the, what is the process for that? It's a long process, but I would tell you that the chamber has been very instrumental. Uh, they, there's a lot of context within the chamber that could basically help you navigate those waters. Mm -hmm. We do have some events that help you get certified and walk you through those processes. One of the things that I would say that the chamber is very good at is also connecting with state agencies. Mm -hmm. So we have great relationships with the EDA. We have great relationships with the diversity uh, department, which was with Hester at the state level. We are very well connected with the governor. So in that being said, it, we're able to uh, walk you through that process and hopefully um, give you less hurdles. Mm -hmm. So because we have many members that are already certified, uh, I'm more than happy and other members who are already certified are happy to tell you don't do this, do this. Be, make sure that you have all your documents in order. So we, we help you navigate those waters. Now, additionally from, from doing that, is there any other avenues that you are able to connect to corporate, uh, to pro corporate, to the, Jesus, to the uh, procurement, to the, no, not to the private, not to the public, but to the private sectors. I know that uh, UPS yes. has been one of yes, the yes, um, yes. Uh, of your partners mm -hmm. that has been participating in your events. Like yes. What is I know that for the private is different. It's a different avenue than the it is. public. And how do you guys go about that? It is. Um, it is different, but it's also sometimes very similar. You still have to have all your documentations. You have to have all your certifications. You have to go into a system. They have a database. So we do have relationships with UPS. We have relationships with Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield, along among many others. So it's it, it is a different process, but I, it's still all about documentation, making sure you're certified, making sure your financials are in order, and the chamber helps you do that as well. I know that um, finances are yes. a big issue oh, for yes. the Latino community, and most of the times it's because of either the credit or they don't meet certain criteria. How does the chamber assist with with being able to to get more funding for their businesses? That is a great question because my business actually just went through that right now. Uh, you know, we're trying to grow and getting access to capital is not the easiest uh, thing mm -hmm. to do. Uh, the chamber, because we have many relationships, again, it's all about return on relationships. It's ROR. Uh, we have a lot of banks that we work with, uh, so we do have a preferred list. Even though you can go to any bank, but we have these banks that we know want to lend to Hispanic business owners. Uh, we also have the Hispanic um, Chamber Fund. While it's definitely different from the Chamber, but it is a partnership that we have with them. So we have referrals that we could make. Uh, also, we have seminars where we could teach you how to become uh, what we call funding ready. So what do you need to do before you go speak to a bank? Mm -hmm. You have to have your business plan together. You have to have your financials together. You have to have your taxes. So just creating that list so when you present to a bank, everything's in order. Now, how many different tiers um, of services that you guys provide? And what do I mean by that is for the beginners, for the middle, and those mm -hmm. that want to reach higher in multi-million dollar contracts, how do, you guys, how do you guys set that apart and how do you guys help them? Be able to create and move forward to the expansion. That's a great um, question, and in I fact, uh, I'm going to segue a little bit to use a TV term for about you know how do you tier that to also millionaires, because uh, <laughs> it's going to segue a little bit to the, what we're trying to do with Latinas. Mm -hmm. uh, I will say that it's customized, so we have to customize it to to the business because we have everything from flower shops, we have restaurants, we have media companies such as, as my company, uh, we have engineers, we have lawyers. So it's not one size fits all. And that's what I love about the chamber, that it's not a cookie cutter package. Mm -hmm. It's what are your needs? Do you need capital? Do you need a network? Do you need to connect with someone at the governor's office? You know, we'll make sure that we get you those um, resources to bring you to the next level. Now, for your woman's platform, what, yes. uh, talk to us more about how you guys have been taken, I mean, 30 years. Yes. Right, yes, Claudia? Yes. 30 years, that's quite impressive for, yes. for Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. But how do you guys set the set and prepare Latinas to the next level? Well, the Let's program is a fairly new program, but I would say the HTTP program um, has already 
um, graduated many Latinas. Uh, but even before that, we were helping Latinas um, prosper. Um, one of our goals right now with the Let's program is to bring Latinas to the million dollar mark. So I don't know if many That's of your incredible. viewers know this, but uh, only 3% of women owners get to the million dollar mark and mm -hmm. women of color, Latinas being one of them, are a quarter of that. Right. So what do we do? So we're going to go ahead and get those resources for them, not only with the Let's program, but also with our very new Latina Leadership Circle program, which is more like a mastermind group. Nice. So that's, a, that's another venture that we're going to have as well. What's a mastermind group? So basically, it's, yeah, that's a good question. So a mastermind group is basically, uh, it's a group of women who are like-minded, who obviously have the mission to become millionaires. Uh, and we'll go ahead, we're going to go ahead and meet once a month and we're going to share ideas, share resources, and bring in experts that are also going to help us get to the next level. Nice. Yes. I love it. Yes. I, I want to give a special shout out to Carlos Medina yes. and to uh, Luis, Luis, yes. Luis de la Hoz, and also to our dear friend and your husband, Francisco Cortez, um, that have been very instrumental to me yeah, thank you. for the past. I mean, your husband, I've met him years ago, but it's you guys have been instrumental but you also you guys also have veteran um, owned business owners yes yes we do um, what's so the percentage of that because I know that so we, we do have some Latino veteran uh, in within our chamber we also do have a partnership with the veteran chamber of commerce from New Jersey mm -hmm. but we welcome everyone so whether you're Latino or not you're welcome to join our chamber if you're a veteran even better because we support our, our armed services mm -hmm. so the percentage of veterans I wouldn't be able to give you that number uh, within our chain. You, does does this chamber also provide access so that your um, so that your members could also have and 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 have cross cross the bridge over to this to the New York State to oh, yes. have all these certifications as well? Yeah, I, well, one of the great uh, there's many things great too about the chamber, but I would say that we uh, are are about building partnerships. So New York City's right next door. So of course we're gonna build relationships with them, with the MTA, with the Port Authority, mm -hmm. uh, with PSENG, which is also in Long Island and New Jersey. Okay. Uh, and the, uh, I mentioned the MTA already, but also the state of New York, which has a 30% set aside for Hispanic owned businesses or minority owned businesses, I should mm -hmm. say. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we definitely, and also Pennsylvania's, not, you know, it's, in, in, it's also That's there right. in the horizon. That's and right. then we also work um, with the nationwide um, Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, the United States Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. That as is well. awesome. Do, um, I know that you mentioned Pennsylvania, but do you guys also have, ac have access to like Philadelphia area, like Southern, Southern? Um, of course. Into yes. the, yeah, because, we it's do. Only, because it's only bridges that sets these, these days yes. apart. That's right, <laughs> definitely. And the opportunities are there, so we're there to bridge the gap. Yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah. Now, what are the other services? Do you guys provide any uh, services for the youth as well? Say those up and coming um, Latinos or non-Latinos, uh, yes. students that want to be able to to get into yes, indeed, to the business. We have we we definitely get uh, notices all the time for uh, internships that um, companies are having. So we pass that on to our members. So mm -hmm. we're all about inspiring the next generation of entrepreneurs. That is fantastic. Now, tell us uh, about your upcoming event is the Modern Latina, yes. correct? Yes, it's March 12th. So I look forward to having your guests there. Yes, yes, And yes. you too. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll definitely be there. I know it's a Thursday, so I'll fly over after the interview. Definitely. But tell us how, we could, how, how people could contact the chamber. Uh, they could go to our website, uh, and, which I believe is on your screen right now. So uh, it's uh, so we could go to our website. You could go to our uh, our social medias, uh, Facebook or Instagram. We also have a Twitter account, and you could just go and go there and, and see what our events are. So it's statewide Hispanic Chamber of Commerce of New Jersey, and that's S H C C N J dot org. Dot org. Yes, that's correct. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. It was a pleasure to have you, and you guys continue to make an incredible. Um, services to our minority-owned businesses, which we also need um, yes. 
and and you know i i see you guys working so hard i see you guys making things happen and i just love to see the unity thank um, you because it's very transparent how you guys have that unity for each and one of your members and how you guys work together indeed and, it's a family and, and, and it's, it's and it's about creating multi-generational change so that's what we're there for which which you guys have been doing for that's the right. past 30 years and we're going to continue to do it for many years to come that is fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having um, me. Claribel, it's such a pleasure to have you. I hope that we could have you back Indeed. and we could share your story. Well, I'm not, I, I grew up not too far away from here. I grew up in Washington Heights. So. <laughs> no way. Yeah, so even though New Jersey is my home now, I am a native New Yorker. Oh, yes. look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Please stay tuned for next week's third episode of Bella's Fashion Series as we welcome a celebrity hair and makeup artist. Don't forget to follow us on our social media platforms on Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube at Bellas Fashionistas, in addition to our media partner, BronxNet TV. To watch our interviews, please do visit our website at bellasfashionistas.com and bronxnet.org. Have a great day and see you next Thursday. Bye-bye. Did you know that brain and spinal cord tumors are the deadliest form of pediatric cancer? They can happen to anyone. I'm not hungry. My tummy hurts. You can help us be part of the solution. Can you get in here? Hurry! You can be part of our family. It's okay. Please support our mission today. Making Headway Foundation. Dedicated to the care, comfort, and cure of children with brain and spinal cord tumors.